That's why I spent 17 years right in there. Who lives there now? It's a fertility clinic. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. It's a fertility clinic. Up there on the balcony was my dad's playroom where he sat and listened to Miles Davis and Coltrane records. And that's the shit right there. Copenhagen was sort of the uh, hotbed of jazz music in, in Europe in the 60s. That's the Israeli embassy down there now. All the jazz musicians would come and hang out here, and a lot of the hippies, and you know, that was his kind of environment away from tennis. You know, when he was here chilling, that was kind of what he did, you know, and hung with all these crazy cats. There wasn't anything typical about any of this. <laughs> That's why, you know, when people like Hetfield and so on sit there and talk about, you know, their childhoods and all this type of stuff, it's just, you know, what, what went on in here just was like a whole different universe. That, that in there was my, um, that was my playroom. That window and that window and the two windows over there, that's where I had my, my drums. That was my, the room where I had all my posters and the room where I had, um, that was like where I had my stereo and all my records and all like 700 posters of Deep Purple right in there. Now I know where Lars got his metal from. <laughs> his house. <laughs> How do you mean? It's pretty gothic looking to me. And... This is your school? This is where the hood rat went to school for nine years, man. They never painted it? <laughs> How old is this school? This school, this is, my dad went to school here too. And his brother. It's, it's a small fucking country. <laughs> we, had the, uh, we had the same teacher. My dad's Danish teacher was my Danish teacher. No fucking shit. So I would bike from home to school, go to school there till two, and then I would come up here and spend the rest of the day playing tennis. <laughs> and so, that was, so it all kind of evolved. Hi, hi. Do I know more release? Snagger here, two seconds away, phone came on. What? Thanks for the And. It wasn't until I moved to LA and, and the whole thing collapsed in mere minutes <laughs> that I still walked around blindly ignorant to the fact that, you know, that one day I would you know, you know, be a professional tennis player. Because here it's such a small country, I was sort of somewhat, also because of my last name, you know, king shit around here, and then went to LA and I was fucking king dog shit big time and nobody gave a shit about us, so the whole thing just kind of collapsed. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> All right, enough. Should we get going?